Hello my dear learners welcome to day 2 of our English learning marathon 6 days challenge here at skillfident with your mentor namita today is the second day and in this whole marathon we are working on self learning techniques we are saving a lot of money and a lot of time if you have not attended the first session the day 1 where i challenged you with some activities everything was about self learning of course then you can go and attend that session and come back to this one now today's session is about storytelling so first of all you are going to listen to a story and then i'll give you your activities and tasks and then you have to complete that task so let's first of all read this story read it out loud with me if there is any confusion listen to my pronunciation listen to my flow of words and then you can repeat it so very carefully sit with your notebook and pen because i'll be giving you some tasks which you are going to note down first of all listen to this beautiful story once upon a time there was an island where all the feelings lived happiness sadness knowledge and all of the others including love one day it was announced to the feelings that the island would sink so all constructed boats and left except for love love was the only one who stayed love wanted to hold out until the last possible moment When the island had almost sunk love decided to ask for help Now richness was passing by love in a grand boat Love said Richness can you take me with you Richness answered No I can't There is a lot of gold and silver in my boat there is no place here for you Love decided to ask Vanity who was also passing by in a beautiful vessel Vanity please help me I can't help you love you are all wet and might damage my boat Vanity answered Sadness was close by so love asked Sadness let me go with you Oh love I'm so sad that I need to be by myself. Happiness passed by love too. But she was so happy that she did not even hear when love called her. Suddenly there was a voice. Come love, I will take you. It was an elder. So blessed and overjoyed Love even forgot to ask the elder where they were going. When they arrived at dry land, the elder went her own way. Realizing how much was owed the elder, love asked knowledge, another elder, who helped me. It was time, knowledge answered. Time asked love but why did time help me knowledge smiled with deep wisdom and answered because only time is capable of understanding how valuable love is so isn't this a beautiful story were you able to understand the entire story perfectly fine okay If there was any confusion you can listen to the entire story once more it is right there so now coming to the activity part what are you going to do in the end we have talked about time helping love because time only values love and all of that but suppose if you have to change the ending and you have to create your own ending how will you do that give this story a different ending something which is your perspective from your point of view how will you end it you can say that happiness helped love 
because love makes you happy it gives you the feeling of those butterflies in your stomach you feel so happy you are always blissful love brings a lot of smile on your face or on the other end you can say that love is more associated with sadness it gives you heartbreaks it makes people sad people in love are always in tears so sadness was there with love all this while or you can say that love was all alone because people in love are generally alone during these times nobody understands the value of love and all of that people are more self centered and selfish give it a different ending i want you to do that and those who have reached here you know what you're supposed to do you're going to record this ending and send me to my email address you know that we are going to meet after completion of this marathon i'm going to have a live class with all of you only those who are regular and who are sending me their audios the second task that i'm going to give to all of you is that you have to actually talk about five things but before that listen to what i have to say true happiness is found when you stop comparing yourself to other people now you have to tell me what are those five things which truly make you happy the five things which bring a lot of happiness to you talk about those five things this is another task the third task is again listen to what i have to say love doesn't mean you will always agree see eye to eye or never have an argument it means despite the bad days you still can't see yourself without that person now what you have to do is you have to define love so define love in your own words the definition of love according to you your experiences what do they say that this is what love is so define love in your own words in minimum 100 to 150 words so you have to speak for sometimes at least 10 15 lines about love what is love for you we all have our share of you know happiness and sorrows related to love so what is it for you you have to talk about it the fourth task which you have to speak on is look for the meaning of the word vanity if you have listened to the story carefully there was this word vanity over there if it is a new word for you look for the meaning of this word in the dictionary if you already know nothing like it share the meaning with me and create two new sentences using the word vanity let me create one for you listen to this one the miss universe described her accomplishments without exaggeration or vanity so one sentence i have created for you two you are going to create first of all google the meaning because if you don't look for meanings yourself and if i keep telling you the meanings all the time then you'll never be able to remember and recall those words it's important that you find the meanings of the words yourself all right coming to the last task for day 2 marathon english speaking marathon is that what is an island if you have to describe an island we all know what an island is but if you have to describe it using some sentences using your own description using your own imagination how will you do that this is your task do this thing using the most simple words describe an island in the most simple words but before that let me give you a small piece of information do you know what a group of islands is called it's called an archipelago archipelago is the word for the group of islands so this is something new that you've learned today but still you have to describe the islands i am supposed to end this day too but i'm going to give you one bonus task 
I have not given any title to the story. You have to give me a suitable title. If you can share four or five titles, nothing like it. But at least give one suitable title to this whole story. The story about love, happiness, sadness, the island with all the feelings. Give it a beautiful title. Use your imagination and give a name to that story, a title to that story. So, how was it? How was the day two of our English speaking marathon? Are you liking the series? Do you think it's a very nice self-learning experience for all of you? Are you looking forward to session three? If yes, then comment in the comment section below. I'm going to see you tomorrow in our third session. Take care of yourself. Keep practicing your English and have faith in self-learning. Bye-bye for now.